Everyone starts freelancing solo and then expands into a team, a company, and an enterprise. Starting from the very basic, when you are just getting into freelancing, you get smaller projects. And after spending some time developing your skills and your communication, you get bigger projects. But when you are working solo, the problem here is to track your development. In this video, we are going to be discussing how to track our technology readiness level, TRL levels by NASA. In TRL for robotics, I found that simulation is a must step at TRL 3 or 4. Then TRL 5, 6, 7, 8 to 9, there is implementation on the real robot. And when I understood this, it totally changed the projects that I target and things I need to work to get to bigger TRL level projects. Now, what is this TRL? Let me explain it. Starting from the very basic example, you start with basic ESP32 robot or IoT project. Now, this is something that people are required to perform their small project that I would put it TRL one and two, something that is not going to be in production ever. It's just to complete some idea or complete some research thing that is not going to be actually implemented in production from the very first thought. Then comes the MVP for a robotics idea that you research TRL one, then you start doing simulation two, three, four TRL, and then you start integrating with the real robot TRL five, six and above. TRL nine is something production grade. So there are very few production grade robotics companies that have robots actual in production. Those are on TRL nine. Before that, there is one, two, eight. And as a freelancer, you can fit into, I guess, to the part of TRL seven and eight and nine, something that you own a product. So before getting into this discussion of TRL, you have to understand if you were doing projects of things that are never going to be in production, you can see the scope of the person who is providing you in the discussion. Then obviously this project is not going to make you progress a longer. In start, small projects are essential, but after a number of years of freelancing, you have to target only those which are actually going to be in production because that directly affects your thinking, your psychology of the market and how you are going to be developing your skills to be production ready doing simulations and just doing AI models into robotics and doing RL, never going into production. Actually, it's not benefiting humanity. It's just research funds usage. So we have been thinking in this order to target only those projects which involve actual robot and they are targeting actual markets, production level quality. Now what it actually takes, starting from the basic projects, you just write the code and make it work. That's the basic thing. You start integrating basic tests. That's a next level that you are testing in a real scenario. In most of the cases, you never write tests and that increases a lot of risk for a hardware project, specifically for robots. Let me give you an example. Now warehouse drones that are going to be looking at packages, barcodes, and then going to be uploading that data into ERP system of the warehouse. In that whole scenario, what do you think? You're going to directly build a drone and do that? No, that's not how companies work. Actual companies always look for simulation and testing of the idea. One of my friend explained in a very concise statement. If your robot is not working, do the simulation. If your robot is working in the simulation, then not working in the real world, then there is a sim to real gap that you have to fix. But if the robot is not even working in the simulation or your idea of the solution is not working in the simulation, definitely do not try on a real robot. That's why NVIDIA ISXM is very popular. So simulation for robots is essential to go in a higher TRL level for technology readiness of the robots. You will see and observe the actual implementation is very hard coded for now in this state of industry. The barcodes are everywhere, cameras are everywhere just to get more data of the environment. Very few robots are in human interaction because the solution has to be cost effective. It has to be time efficient and it has to be repetitive. That's why a lot of barcodes and hard coding things are there. But now the things are changing. Physical AI is coming, which is AI is coming out of the screens and coming into the physical form through robots and uh, developers of robots have to think it in different terms. So let's get back to the freelancing and TRL level tracking. So let me give an example of how we are tracking things and how we are targeting only TRL five plus projects. The example that we are going to take is a project of cost $5,000 and humanoid robot simulation, which is going to be performing folding of the fabric very common one the second that we have an opportunity that is let's say less four thousand dollar but the guy has a robot the same robot that he is trying to simulate 
and the application environment is the same available to the person the second person the first person don't have the humanoid robot he just have idea and the budget so in our scenario in our preference we are going to go with the second one for the reason that they are actually thinking of implementing right away and we are going to be helping them develop for the software side and the interface between the hardware so we are going to be working on an actual robot that's what we are going to be prefer and in the longer run this is what has helped us learn a lot away from the books away from the new technologies but something that industry is going to be accepting and in our experience developing for the production quality for robots is very different for the website and software production quality because a lot of tests have to be done on the hardware and the software in the simulation software there are let's say 100 tests in hardware there are around 30 to 20 tests just to make sure that everything's work fine in simulation you can run a lot of tests and in parallel but in hardware obviously you reduce the test but tests are very important you learn all of this testing systems for hardware developing remotely on a robot the environment what should it be what is the different cases for the environment through working on real robots and as a freelancer most of us don't have actual robots and they are costly so target those companies those clients which have an actual robot and are looking forward to build an actual product and selling it so after spending some time online doing business for freelancing you will understand that building just a product is not enough you have to find clients where you have to talk to the customers before building the product so in that scenario you also can track that is this product going to the market or not as i just said building a humanoid robot doing the folding is not going to be a breakthrough it's already there selling it to the people and making people believe that this is useful and it's going to help them is something that one has to pay full attention to in our scenario what we target is only working on those project where client have actual robots they have the understanding of robotics application they are hard coding not generalizing and they have an interface with the industry they are real people and so they understand robotics in real terms not just ambitious goals of ai solving everything